What if the reason you're not landing more clients isn't your skill set, it's your follow up system or the lack of one? I'm talking about leads from spreadsheets, DMs, emails, just sat there going cold. If you've ever had a lead ghost you or you've told yourself I'll message them next week and then forgotten, then you're not alone. This used to happen to us all the time until we did one simple thing. We automated it. We systemized our CRM and we started winning clients of leads we've forgotten even existed. And today I'm gonna show you how we built an automated CRM engine that handles cold leads, warm leads, and long-term nurturing while we focus on actually growing the business. And I'll walk you through exactly how we're doing it step-by-step using Go High Level. And the best part is you don't need any tech skills. And if you haven't been in business long enough to be juggling at least 20 different spreadsheets of leads, or you're just relying on memory and emails, this still applies to you because for less than $50, you can pay someone on Fiverr to sort your contacts or generate new leads and put them into a spreadsheet and plug in the same system I'm about to show you to start generating sales automatically. Let's dive into it. Now, the number one reason most freelancers and small agencies plateau is not of lack of leads, it's leaky follow-up. So think about it. You've got conversations sitting in DMs. You've got emails buried in your inbox. You've got spreadsheets full of prospects that you haven't touched in months. And this is exactly the type of thing I'm talking about. Leads spread across different spreadsheets, all at different stages. Some were not now, some were follow up in three months and loads and loads who have just simply slipped through the cracks. And I'm sure if you're actively trying to grow your business, then you've probably got similar conversations with potential clients that never turned into anything not because they weren't interested, but because you didn't follow up. And this is the number one place where creatives and social media marketing agencies lose revenue. And that's because 80% of sales happen after the fifth follow up, but 44% of people give up after just one email. Now, ultimately we tell ourselves, I'll follow up with them when I've got time, but we never do because we're head down in the day-to-day runnings of the business. Meanwhile, someone else does and they get the client. So the game isn't just about outreach, it's about the systematic, consistent follow-up. And that's where Go High Level and this process comes in. Okay, so let me walk you through our exact process so that you can copy and paste this for your own business. So jump into a spreadsheet like the one that I've got here and you're gonna create a new column, just call it follow-up or three-month follow-up. And you're gonna wanna make sure that these are checkbox columns because this will come into play uh, later on. Ultimately, this is how we're going to filter out what leads need to go into this automation and what ones don't. So when it's ticked, it's basically saying true center CRM system and when it says unticked which is false it won't send it yet so the next stage of the process is we're going to create a zap in zapier and we're going to use this as the tool to transfer all of those leads into go high level so we can better uh, maintain them and automate them and this is a very simple three-stage automation to do this so first of all we're going to want to link it to the spreadsheet so this is the uh, spreadsheet that we've linked up here we're gonna want it to trigger when an action happens and it triggers when a spreadsheet row is updated. So I've linked that to the column where we've just created the checkbox. So when that is ticked or anything happens with that column, it's going to trigger this automation to start. But what's really important is to filter this out like I've just mentioned. So we're gonna filter this out based on if the text exactly matches true because we only want this process to happen if we tick that checkbox, which is using the terminology true, then it will follow. Now Go High Level is called Lead Connector inside Zapier, just in case you have trouble finding it. And what we're gonna now do is we're gonna map the columns inside that spreadsheet into the data where the contact needs to be created inside Go High Level. And this is super straightforward to do, by the way, because all we need to do is click on uh, this plus button, go to the spreadsheet and find the column that it references to. So for instance, first name, so we click that here and uh, it will basically put the data into here. And I've gone through and done that for all of these where I'm able to take the data from it, including even my notes column, the business name, website, so on and so forth. Now, the one important thing you are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add some tags into this column. I've called it F3MF for three month follow-up and also not replied. I would suggest that you do something similar or just call it follow-up sequence, not replied. And you're gonna wanna separate them with a comma. I'll come back to why that's really important in a moment. So now we've taken those 
dead old spreadsheets. We've added in a column. We've got some automation to take the data from there into Go High Level. This is where the real magic happens. And I'm a bit of a nerd about this stuff, by the way, guys. I get really excited by it because I love anything that enables us to leverage a small business and automate this stuff without having to hire people, without having to spend loads of money. Um, and I just get really excited by it. So it's nice to be able to share that with you. Anyway, once you're inside Go High Level, and if you don't have access to Go High Level already, then there's a link in the description below. There's a 30-day free trial. They are supporting the channel, so it is an affiliate link, but there will be no cost to you whatsoever. I appreciate it if you can go and sign up to that. They normally only give a 14-day free trial, but they're giving you 30 days as viewers of our channel, so you can go ahead and do this and test it for yourself. So yeah, the link's in the description. Go check that out. But when you're on here, we're going to be focused on some key areas. I'm going to just walk you through it step by step as we get into it. The first thing is we're going to want to go over to settings and we're going to want to go down the side here to tags and this is where we're going to create some tags. So you can see I've already gone ahead here by clicking on the new tag button and just name it whatever. So I've got three month follow up, not replied and replied. They're the ones that I, I suggest that you go with for now. Then we're going to head over to our opportunities tab over here and you can go to pipelines and then create new pipeline. And what we're gonna do here is, so I called our sales follow-up and then I created each stage. So what stage does that lead fitting? And I'll be able to show you this by literally going through to opportunities, clicking on sales follow-up. So sales follow-up is the pipeline and then the pipeline stage is that the lead has been added but not replied. The lead has replied, which that's when you want to do something about it. The lead is dead, which means don't need to worry about that anymore. And then maybe they've replied and said, yeah, do you know what? We're really busy right now. Can you follow up in X amount of months time? And then that can link to another automation as well. So when you really start to scale this out without it being overwhelming, this is where we can have lots of automations to really build out the business. And just so you're aware, we're in the process of migrating our entire business over to Go High Level. I've obviously just created a quick uh, blank account to show you this at the moment, but I've been seriously impressed with how we can leverage this for our agency and even handle our social media marketing as well as email campaigns and just keeping on top of leads to make sure that we're closing opportunities at every single corner. So now we've got our tags and our pipeline or opportunities set up. We're going to head over and do the real fun bit inside automation. And and go high level as well. If you go to create workflow, you can select a recipe. And effectively, what I've actually used here is I've used a pre made template called uh, long term nurture and reactivation email sequence. And all I've done is adapt it for this example. So in our follow up email sequence that you're going to want to copy, this is what we've got. So first of all, we want this automation to trigger when something happens. So when is it going to start? When is it going to know to begin this process? Well, we do that when a contact is created, but we filtered it out to make sure it's got that tag that equals three month follow up. OK, if it doesn't have that tag, then it won't do this. So this is where you can start to see everything falling into place. So we tag it at the Zapier stage, then when the lead gets added into Go High Level, it's got that tag. So this triggers because a contact has been created and it does have that tag. So therefore it knows to move forward. After that, we're going to want to update it to the opportunity. So we're going to take that contact that's just joined and we are going to move them into that pipeline. So that sales follow up pipeline and the pipeline stage of lead added, but not replied yet. Because on a daily basis, all I want to do is I want to come in, I want to check my dashboard, and then I want to go ahead and check the opportunities tab to see basically, oh, is there anything that I need to do? Do I need to worry about anything here? Can I make a sale? Yes or no? And then move forward with my day. So once we've got those filtering actions all done, we're then going to go to wait tab. And with a wait tab, and if you want to add anything here, you can literally click on the plus button. It's super easy. You can type in what you need. You can see they've got loads of things here. And all I've done is I've just clicked on wait. It's added it into here here and then it's given me some options. Now the most important thing for us to do here is add an initial time delay window because when I add them to the form today, I don't want it to send the first email today. I want it to wait a period of time. So I've got this to wait for one month because we're going to be adding in leads that we have recently spoken to and moving them into this automation as well as speaking to leads that we haven't spoken to for years and we want to just add them into this automation. So I'm going to do a follow up in one month's time 
time. And then same thing again, I click the plus icon, I'm gonna add in an email here. But you can see, you can add in loads of stuff. You can link this to um, Instagram, uh, into Facebook Messenger, you can link it into WhatsApp. There's just so much stuff that you can do with this platform, which is the reason why we're migrating over to it as well. Um, I just think it's super awesome. But for now, let's keep it simple. So when we send out our email, we're gonna do a very simple follow-up email, and we're gonna replace the subject line, obviously, with something uh, more nurturing. So just following up and then maybe their name. And this is why it's really cool as well. If you go over to the custom fields uh, tab, you can copy these as well and it will take it from the contacts uh, details. So let's say we copy this bit here and we could say something like touching base. I'm sure you can think of something better here, but just for an example, that would then say touch in base John or quick question for John. How, whatever you want to say is up to you, uh, but it's just showing you that you can utilize these placeholders as well. They've got templates that you can use if you want, or you can just send, again, your, your normal email. And I would always recommend with follow-ups that you provide a bit of value. So it might be something like, hi, first name, as suggested, you know, just wanted to touch base now, a couple of months have passed. Here's um, some recent work we've done, take them to a link to their website for some inspiration, you know, is now a better opportunity for us to have a chat about doing some work. Anything that just flows really naturally, and again, it's just about bringing them up. Hey, John, how are you doing? We spoke a few months back, just wanted to touch base and see how things are, whatever you want to put in, but definitely leverage uh, these custom fields because that's how we apply the automation to lots of different types of people. Now, a huge amount of importance comes what happens after that. So you send that first email, then we need to bring in a wait action but this time we're going to do wait for contact to reply because if they reply to us then great but we don't want to keep sending them emails and if they don't reply to us then obviously we want the automation to continue so we want to know have they replied to the first email and then the timeout period for this i've put a 60 days you can change this to whatever so if they don't reply within 60 days this is what happens next so if the contact does reply first of all we're going to remove the tag for three month follow-up and not replied because we don't want them in the system anymore then we want to add the tag that says replied Okay, so you can see this is where things are starting to happen. Maybe we've got another automation system that we can say when reply tag happens, send email to my business email address so I'm aware or something like that. Then what we want to do is we want to update the opportunity because it's really important that in our opportunity pipeline, so if I just go back to that for a second, you know, the lead will show up initially in lead added but not replied. And when they replied, we want them to go into lead replied, right? So in the morning, when I check this and I check my opportunities, I can see, wow, we've got five new leads that have replied in here. I need to go ahead and, and actually interact with them. And that's where even easier, you can go over to conversations tab and that's where you can actually have conversations. Instead of going over to your email address, you can just reply from this conversations tab, making your life a lot easier. Now the question becomes, well, what happens, Ross, if they don't reply? Then if they don't reply after 60 days, I will send them another email, then go through a wait process again. And I'm just copying and pasting the same thing. Did the contact reply? Yes. Remove the tag, add the new tag, update opportunity. If they didn't reply, go through this. And I just do this a few times and this is super easy. You don't have to go through the process any time. What's really great about this is you can literally just copy this bit here. You can copy it and then apply it to the end. So just simple copy and paste function. It is really important that these emails are simple and helpful and they're personal, not just spammy. So for instance, you could even say something like, hi Sarah, I had an idea that might work for your business. Would you like me to send over a quick video explaining it? And then you can just do a screen recording like this. So there's no hard sell, you'll just provide in value or just touching base with them. And that's how it can also work really well for brand new leads that you're getting the data from and then you just plug them into a new campaign. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how to reignite old existing leads. Because if you're anything like me, you've probably got loads and loads of spreadsheets that are just dead full of very valuable contact information. Since setting this up, we have signed multiple clients who came directly from our CRM, but more importantly, it's lifted a massive weight off our shoulders. No more feeling guilty because I forgot to follow up, no more scrambling to remember names, and no more spreadsheet chaos. Instead of feeling reactive, our system is working 24-7 in the background, warming up leads, starting conversations, and booking calls. All we do now is focus on hot leads 
leads who reply, people who we've got the best chance of making a sale with, so we're just not wasting time and being far more efficient. I reached out to Go High Level and asked if they could extend something special for our community as they normally only offer a 14 day free trial and they came back and said that they would be happy to offer you guys a 30 day free trial. So go and check out the link in the description below and test this out for yourself. You could literally set this up today, import a few leads, let it run all before lunchtime. And even if one lead reactivates, that could be a client who's worth thousands. So give it a go, links in the description. Let me know if you try it and what results you get. And I'll see you in the next video.